Hello, your honors, and welcome now to Shout Out Wednesday. Post a comment or ask a question at SoulGarden.tv in the Libra viewing room or on the Libra homepage, and I'll do my best to shout back or answer to y'all one week later. Well, looks like it's going to be overcast, but creative today for the Librans. The moon has now moved into Aquarius, so your emotional focus will be your inner child. This is an excellent time to let your child play. That could be creative play. That can be romantic play. That could be just fantasizing, sitting back on the couch and just thinking about how great it would be if you really did have your dreams come true. By the way, you're meant to. Every soul on the planet is sponsored to have their dreams come true. Doesn't mean there aren't some obstacles you have to cross to get there, and we have to learn how to use our magic wands, but still, what your inner child wants is who you really are. So this is a time to indulge in that and to let that flow. Now the reason why I say cloudy is because Neptune is ruling the day. We're in chapter two of Sun and Cancer, and when Neptune rules the day, it means we're being logged in, like it or not, to our higher selves, so we're all a bit spaced out, and it's the best time to meditate. Now remember, the topic this month for you is your career, what you're gonna do out there in the world, what you're gonna do when it comes to leaving a mark behind on the planet. Yesterday I said Venus was the ruling day, so it was a day to create new options options, new options for what you should do. Today with Neptune ruling the day, it's time to meditate on those options. What should I do? What is the path? Universe, please guide me. And if you're not good at meditating or you need just more counsel, by golly, check out Julie Zipper. She is our meditation vibration and our uh, host and expert of meditation here at SoulGarden.tv. And she's got a new episode today on meditating on the cancer vibration. Now remember, cancer is about how we mother ourselves. And a Libra literally mothers themselves by their career. They feel better about themselves when they're out there making a difference. That's why you're the judge. That's why you're the fair one. You feel better and you nurture from helping and leaving a mark on the world. So meditate on where to go and where to grow. Then lastly, for our shout out, goes to Jen Loop, who is one of our most vocal Librans out here, and I appreciate her very much. She has a lot of great questions. She asked the question about, what about this weird phenomenon where same people in the, in the same family will have the same birthdays? What does that mean? I'll tell you what it means. It means that they are, in some ways, a twin soul to you. They're going to go through a very similar story. Some of their planets will be different, but many of their planets will be the same. So you have this reflection, this twin soul to some degree, that's out there living the same life, but making different choices, having a different cast of characters, having a different plot. But at the end of the day, the arc of the soul is similar. So it is actually a gift from the universe that you have someone running the same story with you that you can look over to and kind of understand your own story by seeing them. All right, that's all I have for Shout Out Wednesday. See you folks tomorrow with more. Live, love, be. So